One of the very best AI tools available today called Notebook LM from Google just got one of his very best updates ever called Video Overviews. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it today. Now, Video Overviews, basically what it lets you do is you could create a notebook inside of Notebook LM Give it all kinds of different sources like your own PDF documents, link to YouTube channels, and even websites. And it will actually create a video for you. Not an audio summary, not a boring text document, an actual explainer video with an AI voice, with narration, with graphics, all in a matter of minutes. Okay, let me show you exactly how it works. If you are new to Notebook LM, you could still follow along, but I recommend watching my deep dive video on how to use Notebook LM because there is a lot you could do with Notebook LM. But typically inside of Notebook LM, you just press the plus sign and you add any type of source that you have. So this doesn't work like traditional AI chatbots like ChatGPT. It won't go find information on the web for you. You have to give it sources that you handpick. So you could put anything here, including things from your Google Drive, YouTube videos, and so on. Now, once you do create yourself a notebook, you'll see all your sources on the left side, and then you could chat with it here. So that's all part of Notebook LM. Video overview is right here though, on the right side, and in one click, it's gonna generate a video. But before I click on it, let me just show you different things you can do before you create it. And then I wanna show you a few different examples on the type of videos that you want to create that will be useful for you depending on the type of job you do. So first, I'm gonna click on this pencil icon here and I can customize this to some extent. So right on top, I could obviously choose my language English by default, but if I want, I could try to focus on a specific topic. So right here, it says target a specific use case. So for example, help me review for a quiz. That will look through all your sources and actually create that video in a different way. Another one is focus on a specific source. Let's say you uploaded 10 different PDFs, things that you scanned as text documents, and things that you have from YouTube that you hand selected. Well, you could focus just on one YouTube video or just on the YouTube videos that you selected and ignore all the PDFs. You could describe that in text and you could also change the structure of how you want that video. If it's your very first time, I recommend you leave this blank so you could kind of see what it does by default, okay? So next, I'm just gonna click on video overview. As soon as you click on it, it will go and create that video for you. Now, this will take a few minutes here, but it will go through all your sources that you have, even if you only have one, and generate a really interesting video overview. Now, I'm gonna show you three different use cases. The very first one is what I'm using this for. So I have a Google Gemini course. Google Gemini is the AI chatbot from Google, direct competitor to ChatGPT. So I made a course covering that, and this is where all that information is coming from, is from that course, my YouTube videos on the topic, and some other things that I've actually copied and pasted into my notes. Now, it's gonna create a video that will be a really great way and a supplement to my course. Now my course is already in video, but some courses I have have PDFs and things like that. Well, I could have an additional asset that is a video to go along with it, really easy to actually consume versus reading a lot of text, right? Anything when it comes to teaching something to someone else, this is a great use case for that. Okay, once it's ready, it's gonna show up right here on the right side. Now, if yours is collapsed like this, just make sure you open it up. You could press play, which I will in a second. These three dots let you rename it, so you could actually have a different name for it. Download it to your computer, and you could share it directly here. You just put someone's email and you could share it. And if it doesn't turn out the way you want, delete it, generate another one. It only takes a couple minutes to create these. Let's look at this one here. I'll play a little bit of it, and then we'll move on to a different one with a different example. All right, let's just get right into it. We are talking about Google Gemini. And look, if you're still thinking of it as just another AI chatbot, you are in for a serious surprise. So think about the AI assistant you use right now. Is it basically just a text machine, right? Because let me tell you, the whole game is changing, like right now. We're moving so far beyond simple question and answer. We're stepping into a world where AI can actually see, and hear and create with you. And that right there is exactly where Google's Gemini enters the picture. Okay, how great is that? That's eight minutes. And I created this course myself, so I know it's two hours worth of content. And the fact that it was able to summarize it in such a clean way for 
eight minutes picking the right information, it is mind blowing. Now, here's a really useful business use case that a lot of people actually have to deal with. When it comes to any type of a market research report or an annual report, here's a financial annual report I have, I could basically just upload that single document. So I gave it a very long financial report document here. And then I just clicked on video overview. And again, you could customize this too if you wanted to. So I could say something like, make me a professional video overview that focuses on market trends or competitor analysis, anything specific in that source that I already have. In this case, I just chose the default option and it's gonna go ahead and create it for me. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then I'll show you a quick overview of what that looks like. Okay, so you've heard about the AI boom, right? It's like a modern day gold rush. Everyone is scrambling to strike it rich. But NVIDIA, well, they're not digging for the gold. They're the ones selling all the picks, all the shovels, and all the heavy duty machinery. And as it turns out, that is an insanely profitable business to be in right now. Look at this number for a second. Honestly, when you first see it, you think it's got to be a typo, but it's not. That's the year over year revenue growth NVIDIA just reported. And that number right there is our first clue to just how massive this whole AI revolution really is. Revenue hit an incredible $22 billion. That's up 265%. But check this out. The profit. Net income just exploded by an almost unbelievable 491%. Now, the third one is great for students and marketers and researchers. So if you have any dense research paper, let's say a 200-page research report, this actually lets you upload sources that are 500,000 words each and you could have up to 50 different sources anytime you create a notebook and the video overview will use those sources. Now for this one, we will customize it a bit. So I'm gonna say, explain this like I'm a beginner to marketing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and generate that because this is a research that I've done on the creator economy and influencer marketing, but it's pretty dense and it already thinks I know a lot about marketing based on my sources. So the one where I just clicked was not good enough if I need to explain this to a beginner. So in this case, I'm gonna actually try to make this a little bit simpler and I'll show you a few seconds of this too when it's ready. All right, so here's the game plan for this explainer. First, we're gonna get a handle on what the creator economy actually is. Then we'll meet the creators themselves and you know figure out how they even make a living doing this. After that, we'll walk through the exact playbook brands use to team up with them, and we'll wrap it all up by peeking into the future to see what's next. All right, first things first, let's talk about the sheer scale of this thing. I mean, just how big is this economy we're talking about? $250 billion. That's billion with a B. So what does that even mean? What is the creator economy? Well, to put it simply, it's this whole universe of people creating content for their own audiences online. We're talking podcasters, TikTok dancers, newsletter writers, you name it. It's a huge shift away from giant media companies telling us what's cool. Now, if you haven't looked at Notebook LM for a while, they actually have a lot of other things that they recently released that goes along very well with video overview. One is these flashcard options where you could turn your sources into flashcards, a great way to learn anything new. And they also have quizzes. So you could create quizzes for someone else or your students, or you could create a quiz for yourself if you're trying to learn a topic using Notebook LM. Again, these are all one click and these could be fully customized. So quizzes, for example, has a filter for difficulty levels where you could go ahead and change it. And number of questions also could be changed and you still have the custom box where you could type exactly what you want out of this. So if you are a visual learner, I think this Notebook LM video overview is gonna become one of your go-to options. And it's a great tool for sharing information with other people as well. They're easily downloadable and shareable. One of my favorite all-time options. Now, video overview is just one option, but Notebook LM actually has a lot more to offer. So I'll show you this resource that we have. This is a comprehensive Notebook LM course, 35 different video lessons. I'll put a link in the description to this page. You could watch this lesson here and see if this is a good fit for you. And you could see the entire curriculum if you wanna dive deeper into Notebook LM. And we do have a free seven day trial to this entire platform. So this platform right here is called Skill Leap, and we have courses across all the top AI tools and techniques, especially for work and business. 
So you'll see those all over here and you get access to everything with the free trial. And then it's a simple month to month subscription, just like Netflix. And we release multiple courses every single month. And we have all kinds of other resources like a tool library, for example, where you could simply copy and paste all kinds of different prompts inside of ChatGPT, inside of Notebook LM and all the other top AI tools.